within minutes. At one news conference in the U.S., Saudi Arabia's top diplomat, Adil al-Jubair, dangled between positions and terminology, a thing and its opposite. He says there is no blockade of Qatar, it is free to go, its ports and airports are open, adding, what we have done is we have denied them use of our airspace and this is our sovereign right. He rejects the term siege, but donates to the besieged. Al Jubeir says Saudi Arabia is ready to supply Qatar with food through the King Salman Relief Center. It is not known whether travel exhaustion or its poor harvest are the reason of this contradiction as he travels across the globe to support the illegal besiege on Qatar. Al Jubeir got the support of an African country which, according to French daily Le Monde, came under pressure of Hajj visa by threatening to stop funding a project or aid. If it is not a besiege, why does the Saudi foreign minister offer what he calls relief and the legal classifications are clear when borders, ports and airspace are closed on food and medicine and the movement and the dispersal of families are prohibited? And these things have one name, siege. As for sea and airports are still open because of inability to close them, this does not fall from the legal and moral responsibility of the besieged because if he could seal them, he would do it. The Qatari response to Al-Jubeir's remarks was decisive, with the foreign ministry in Doha saying Qatar does not need relief, adding it still gives aids to people who need them. What prevents to respond similarly are political repression and religious deterrent that led to a further reflection in Saudi diplomacy, revealing day after day a foreign policy that goes beyond the confusion of terms to what seems to be described as the blind constants besieging brothers and favoring enemies. In the words of the late Saud al Faisal, nicknamed the Foreign Minister of Saudi Arabia, he said that Hamas was defending its territory and that it was not equivalent to Israel's terrorism. Hamas was received in Mecca as a symbolic sign of what was known then as Palestinian reconciliation. After the US president linked Hamas to terrorism in Riyadh, Hamas, which has not fired a bullet outside of Palestine and has not fought other than the Israeli occupation authorities and did not cause any harm to the Gulf states, became a terrorist movement.